Hello! Let's move on then to lesson number 10 in the straight line chapter. This one is looking at altitudes. So again, it's something that we haven't done before, similar to medians. Now the altitude, what actually is that? Well, again, it's relating to triangles. So an altitude is a line in a triangle that, similar to a median, it goes from a vertex to the opposite side, but the altitude meets at right angles. And again, a triangle would have three altitudes. If you imagine this triangle here then, you can see that this red line from the vertex, it goes across to the opposite side and it meets there at a right angle. The blue line, it goes from that point across to the opposite side and it meets at a right angle. And with the pink line here, you've got the pink line going from that vertex to the opposite side, and it's going to meet that at a right angle as well. Now the altitude as well as meaning a line that goes from a vertex across to the other side and meeting at a right angle, you may have heard the word altitude in reference to a height. If you think about it with this triangle, say I turn it around slightly, if I measured the height of this triangle, well, the height would just be that red line. And I know the height is at right angles to the base. So I've got the base, so the height would just be that red line. So that would be an altitude, it's the height. If I turned the triangle around, so the blue line was the height. It's maybe slightly squint, but again, it meets at right angles there. And from the base to the top would be the altitude, it's that blue line. And you could do the same thing with the pink line as well. So the pink line, it goes from that base right the way up to the top of the triangle, so it's the altitude. So altitude really means the height, and in a triangle it goes from a vertex to the opposite side, and they meet at right angles. Again, if you notice with the diagram, they're all going through that point. All the lines are concurrent, so they're meeting at a point there. And this time, the point that all three lines meet is called the, anybody want to have a guess? It is called the Orthocenter. I always think that sounds like something out of Doctor Who. Take him to the Orthocenter. But that's what it is. So the Orthocenter is where the three altitudes meet. In the triangle below then, so we've got A, B, C. We've got those three points. So the line BD is an altitude. It's going across to the opposite side and it's meeting at right angles. What do you notice about these two lines then? B, D and A, C. If they meet at right angles, what's the fancy word for that? Perpendicular! Yes, you're right, they are perpendicular. So how would you work out the equation of the perpendicular line? So, with that diagram, just from the last page, to do that, very similar to medians, I'm going to give you three steps to work this out. In this example, to find the equation of the altitude from B, the first thing you have to do is think gradient point equation. So, gradient, well, you don't know the gradient. The point, well, suppose you know that point D, but we definitely don't know this point D. It is not a midpoint. Even if we knew A and C, we couldn't work it out. We don't know what it is. It's going to lie somewhere on this line. So working out the midpoint does not help us. But what we can always do is we can work out the gradient of the line AC. Because we know that they're at right angles, because we know they're perpendicular, if you turn the gradient upside down and change the sign, you'll then get the gradient of this line BD. So first of all, work out the gradient of AC. Find the perpendicular gradient, turn it upside down as I said, change the sign. So if it was three quarters, turn it upside down, you get negative four thirds. And last but not least, gradient point equation, you would then know the gradient, the point, well you still know that point B, so you can think gradient point equation and sub it in to that equation. So I'll do one example of this, just calling it example 1. A is the point 2, negative 4, B is 3, 1, and C is negative 5, 0. Find the equation of the altitude from B. Again, whenever you get a question like this, you're best just doing a wee sketch of a triangle and then filling in what you know. So you could even write in what these points are. But you know that you're asked to work out the equation of the altitude from B. So it's the line going from B across to the other side. It's not a midpoint, remember. You're going to go across, so it's meeting at right angles. So that should look like a right angle when you draw it in. 
To find that then, again, this point you don't know, definitely don't work out the midpoint. The way you do it is work out the gradient of AC. So to work out the gradient of AC, you're wanting to use point A and point C. So do Y2 take Y1. So zero take away negative four over X2 take X1. So negative five take two. Simplify that and you would end up with 4 over negative 7. If you did it back to front with y2 take y1 is negative 4 take 0 and then 2 take negative 5, you would get negative 4 over positive 7. It doesn't matter uh, which way around you do it, it's still the same answer because remember the negative could be at the bottom or the top or at the side, it doesn't matter how you write it. So we know the gradient of AC, you then have to flip it upside down, change the sign to work out the perpendicular gradient. So the perpendicular particular gradient, what do you think it would be? Yep, you got it, it's going to be 7 over 4. After that, you're then wanting to think gradient point equation. So the gradient, well yes, we know it's going to be 7 over 4, it's this perpendicular gradient. The point, the only point we know is point B. We don't know this point down here, and definitely don't use A or C because they do not lie on that line. So y, t, y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. Sub in those values, so y minus, again, this time you are using point b, so it's this one here we're looking at. So it's going to be y minus 1 equals the gradient 7 over 4, bracket x minus a, so x minus 3. Move the 4 to the other side, or multiply both sides by 4. And we get 4 bracket y minus 1 equals 7 bracket x minus 3. Multiply out the brackets, so 4 times y, 4 times negative 1 is going to be 4y minus 4. 7 times x is 7x, 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. And again, get it into a form that you are familiar with. So y equals mx plus c, or move everything to one side and let it equal 0. From this, I would probably just move the negative 4 over. So it become add 4 or add 4 to both sides. So 4y equals 7x take 17. Again, you can move the 4 over. So y would equal 7 over 4x minus 17 over 4. But it brings in fractions, which are ugly. You might just want to leave it as that. Again, this was on the last video as well, but remember you might come across some questions asking you if something's concurrent. So if they're concurrent, it just means they all pass through the same uh, point. So with medians that we dealt with last time, they always pass through the same point. Altitudes as well, if you draw in the altitudes correctly, they should always pass at that same point. Give some of these a shot in the Into Credit book, and just in the higher chapter at the end, page 221, questions 5 to 7. Check your answers as you go, and once you've done question 7, just look at the next video and you are ready to move on. Enjoy!